Welcome to the third part of answering the most asked technical interview questions for electrical engineers. You can ask any question and we will answer it in the next videos. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. The first question we have here is Describe the main parts of power oil transformer We have already answered this question in a previous video But we will answer it again here You will find the video about oil transformer in the description down below In oil transformer we have the main tank Inside the main tank we have laminated core Also high voltage and low voltage windings the oil is also inside the tank. Another part is the conservator tank, which is connected to the main tank by a connection pipe, which has the buckles relay. Also, we have a silica gel, high voltage, low voltage bushings, a pressure relief, tab changer, oil and winding temperature detector, oil level gauge and radiators. Also, we could have fans and oil pumps in case of ONAF, OFAN, or OFAF cooling methods. Let's walk through another question. What is PM and CM in maintenance world? Actually, PM stands for periodic maintenance, and CM stands for corrective maintenance. Preventive maintenance or periodic maintenance or time-based maintenance is a type of maintenance that is performed on equipment periodically to maintain smooth operation of the equipment. So it's a regular check to lessen failing probabilities. Corrective maintenance is a type of maintenance that is performed to identify and repair faulty systems and equipment. As we do the preventive maintenance in a good way, the chances to perform corrective maintenance will decrease. What is space heater? Space heater or anti-condensation heater is a heater that keeps the internal temperature of an electric motor above the ambient temperature while the motor is off. The heater helps to prevent condensation from forming inside the motor which can cause damaging to motor windings, bearings and electrical connections. The fourth question here is, draw a two-way light switch wiring diagram. Actually, we have answered this question in a separate video. We have more than one method, but today we will choose only one connection. Bring two two-way switches, the power source and the lamp. Connect the line to the common pin and the first switch. Connect L1 to L2 and connect L2 to L1. Connect the second common pin to one terminal of the lamp. The second terminal of the lamp will be connected to the neutral. What is silica gel in oil transformer? Silica gel is used in oil transformers to absorb moisture in the air sucked in by the transformer during the breathing process. This moisture is danger on the insulation characteristic of oil inside the transformer. Another question here is, what is the rated power in kilowatt or in horsepower that is existed on the electric motor nameplate? This is a simple question, yet a tricky one. Here we have the output mechanical power that comes out from the motor. This is not the input electrical power. So to calculate the input electrical power, we need the efficiency factor. The last question we have here today is draw the control circuit and power circuit for a direct online connection for induction motor. In power circuit, we have the main three phase input source that will be connected to a three pole circuit breaker. Then it will be connected to a three pole contactor. After that, it will be connected to overload device. Then we will connect it to the motor. In the control circuit, we will connect one line of input source 
to the first terminal of normally closed emergency switch. The second terminal of normally closed emergency switch will be connected to the first terminal of the normally closed contact of the overload. Then we will connect the second terminal of the first terminal of a start push button. Also we will connect this point to a normally open contact of the contactor. The other terminal of the start push button will be connected to the second terminal of the normally contact of contactor and it will be connected also to A1 which is the contactor coil. A2 will be connected to the neutral. To understand why we connect it in this way check the video in the description down below. Also check the resources. We will continue this series of videos. Also, we will publish tons of other useful topics related to electrical engineers in the future. Consider subscribing to Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.